What is it? Hello and welcome back to What Is It on the Essential Gamer with me, Lee, and what it is is Fusion Paradox, a twin stick shooter roguelike on the PS5. Who'd have thunked it? It's voxels. What the f? I mean, as soon as you see voxels, it's very easy to think Mega Zombie. But hang on just a minute, because this actually isn't a pile of absolute turds. So firstly, it's unique points. Fusion Paradox is basically set in a universe which is the same as controls. People did experiments, they went a bit wrong, they undid energy, they let beasties and demons out after there was a big explosion. Blah de blah, yakety schmacks. It's all gone tits up lads, let's kill the baddies. Basically, you are tasked with going into what is uh, the federation or the the business or the 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 control people headquarters, which is constantly evolving, constantly changing, against many many baddies. Uh, fairly typical roguelike gameplay loop, except for the energy. So you can choose between two energies to charge your character with at any time. This will allow you to see hidden enemies that are in certain energy fields and to use certain things that are tied to said energy fielding. You'll die a lot, and when you die, you'll be taken back to the room where the energies are, and it'll say, hey, remember to change energy, bro, because this thing killed you, and that one is in, in, in the yellow energy, not the blue energy. Uh, it's really simple to get hold of. The rest of it is stuff you'd expect. You kill baddies, you gain monetary gains, you go and buy new weapons, etc, etc. The voxels could have put me off at the beginning, but fairly quickly I began to understand with its plethora of baddies and power-ups and boons and all the other shit that you can add on, it's actually a very solid twin stick shooter. Uh, surprised me, honestly surprised, thought it was going to be terrible. You unlock your permanent upgrades and boons through finding different workers from the company that you're going to save for whatever reason. You literally just turn up one day and they're like, hey, you're the saviour, save us. You unlock these people, um, they basically give you different power-ups in a permanent fashion that every time you die you go back to the lobby and you can pick up things like bonus pennies, boons, starting weapons, all of that nonsense very slowly dripped fed to you, unlocked as you play, but satisfying to do because it keeps coming back. The replayability is rather good. It's actually rather good all round. I was generally quite surprised. I thought it was going to be a big pile of shit. I put it on the I'm scared difficulty because I'm an idiot and it became 10 times even more enjoyable with an influx of baddies the variety of which is excellent by the way, you'll be fighting all sorts of ridiculous creatures with all sorts of ridiculous things to take into account when you're trying to defeat them. You get lots of different weapon types to try to defeat them with which is good and you're going to need every single one. It's surprisingly in depth for something that looks like it could have been made in about 10 minutes. It's good. So the good thing about Fusion Paradox is it's not stingy on the power ups. So you're constantly adding new things to your arsenal, new permanent skills, new found abilities, all of that stuff to up the synergy level between what you're currently holding in your loadout. I like it when roguelites give you lots of stuff. I don't like the ones that are stingy and don't give you cock all. This gives you shops all the time. It lets you add, lets you experiment and for good measure, because that's the way you get the most out of a game like this. Uh, Fusion Paradox is very good at having a variety of things available to you at all times. Really, really satisfying. And there's a big old uh, like bestiary uh, inventory. Lots of enemies, lots of different types, lots of power-ups, lots of guns, lots of stuff. If your roguelite hasn't got lots of stuff for you to add on to your stuff, then there is no point in it having any stuff whatsoever, is there? So, good on you, Fusion Paradox. Especially giving me things like chicken heads and cyclops to fight. Why not? Give me all the stuff. Give me a big map that's procedurally generated, 
that changes every single time I die and give me bosses that are ridiculous like Dave from accounting he's so big and pissed off it's just like real life so in between all the mindless blasting there is a little bit of brain power like I said you need to sometimes swap between different energy fields and this also goes into puzzles fairly well thought out puzzles start off pretty simple at the beginning but they ramp up slowly to the point where you'll actually be scratching your noggin trying to work out what the hell it is you're supposed to be doing again nice good variety everything good happy with that in the four to five hours that I spent playing Fusion Paradox I came across one glitch and that was a baddie fell into a hole now the problem with that is that he didn't die so I couldn't kill him but every time I went in to go and get him I died it's off like the game for me I had to restart I lost all of my progress in that particular run eh, not the best look but also having only one and I do mean only one significant glitch in five hours of playing what is a voxel indie game I count as a win <laughs> I take wins when I see them and that was a win so not only is Fusion Paradox a very competent twin stick shooter it's also a very good roguelike so if you like either of those types of games I highly recommend you try this voxel attempt uh, entertaining very nice very good excellent if you like this video please do like and subscribe if you didn't like this video tell me why I will find out how to make voxels and I will stick them up your ass nice one goodbye gamers